Hey folks, this is Jake Davis I'm on the fly review for you. Yeah, I'm doing another one. Just a lot of movies out right now, I reckon. That I'm just stuck in the house all the time. One or the other. It's probably both. It's the letter. Anyhow, uh, this is a documentary, political documentary, about uh, directed by Justin Folk, I believe, and uh, starring slash hosted, however, uh, you you see it, um, Matt Walsh. Uh, I've you know, I've seen some of Walsh's videos on on YouTube. Uh, it's not really someone I'm very familiar with at all. Uh, so I checked out check out this movie because it's pissing off a lot of people. And uh, when a movie pisses off a lot of people, that means it's probably saying something true. <laughs> the uh, whole deal here is basically him doing interviews with the various professors, politicians, therapists, surgeons, pedi pediatricians, and, uh, and just man-on-the-street stuff as well. As, as, as also as um, uh, athletes and um, people who have gone through tr uh, transgender transitions themselves. Uh, I think the movie it 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 allows its counter argument to be made. It spends the entire two first two thirds of the film, uh, letting them make their argument, and then the film makes its counter argument, uh, which is that <coughs> this is harmful. It's harmful to children. It's harmful to women. Uh, that doesn't mean transgendered people don't need help don't need to go through their issues and deal with them in their own personal journeys uh that's unfortunate but that's just how it i mean that's how it is for a lot of people no matter what you go through in life uh i mean it's it's not like not like a badge it's not like a, a, a fucking pass like the white privilege thing okay theoretically based by a lot of uh, these, you know, virtue signaling or uh, uh, identity politics, I guess is what I'm looking, the phrase I'm looking for here is, theoretically, because I'm a straight white man, the world is my oyster. Uh, okay, so... Why was I why was I homeless when I was seventeen? Why did I come from a broken family? Why did I really spend most of my life being very very poor, living one day to fuck paycheck to the nets? I had to live one day to the nets. How am I going to eat this time? Uh, I went through a lot of difficult things as a young man. I I saw a man murdered when I was twenty two years old. These things, everyone has difficult paths. And me saying all that shit, and it wasn't all that bad. I've had a good life. I've had a happy life. The thing is that you can't just, when you pigeonhole, you, no one is wanting to pigeonhole transgenders. It's just a bunch of crazy people or that everyone's doing it is just on a trend. But when they've made it made it a trend, you have to be able to question. You have to be able to critique. Because uh, if no one else can critique you, then you're not going to challenge yourself. That's just a fact. And it's films like this and theories like this, it's not hateful. It's not them trying to run people off a cliff or trying to go back to some kind of dark age that never really existed. It is trying to keep it from being that mistake you made. It can be that mistake. You know, you don't... Pu puberty blockers are chemical castration. Talking to six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds about sets is not okay in any way whatsoever. I mean, how many people... Uh, Jesus Christ. 
How many of your fucking teachers did you know on a first name basis? Do you even know they were married? Most of them, of course you didn't. Because they were your teacher. They weren't some kind of... Your, your, their, your guide to early sexual identity expressionism. There are people out there who need serious help and deep understanding and infinite patience and love. And there are also monsters who just want to feed on the weak. You can't pretend one doesn't exist as if this is going to help the other. I think this was a fascinating movie, an important movie, a movie film needs to see, but <laughs> film people need to see. Uh, it was interesting, uh, informative, and times very funny film. Uh, and more importantly than anything else, uh, just if you don't see it, just do your own research about this kind of stuff. Look up and read about men like Alfred Kinsey and uh, John Money. These were sexual predators, and their theories are now being taught to children. No, it's not cool. It's not cool. And, uh, yeah, I, I recommend the movie. I'm giving it five stars. I thought it was fascinating. In fact, I've actually already seen it twice. Uh, a piece of work. Enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, very informative. And as I said, it's not like, it's not, it's, it's bias in its outcome, but it gives the other side. It lets them speak. Um, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.